हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लूप्स इन फ्लोग्राफ्स ओके सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द थिंग्स व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू द बेसिक ब्लॉक्स सो व्हाट इज ब्लॉक ब्लॉक आर नथिंग बट द कलेक्शन ऑफ द डिफरेंट कॉन्जिक्यूटिव स्टेटमेंट ओके नाउ व्हाट इज व्हाट इज स्टेटमेंट एंड व्हाट इट कंटेन एंड व्हाट इज ब्लॉक एंड व्हाट इट कंटेन सो instruction or statement is nothing but this three what now what we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about the statement and this statement are nothing but the three address statement so the three address statement or quadruple or quad or triple or indirect triple so we are thinking about this statement only now what is block block are nothing but the collection of different consecutive statement and in last lecture we are already discuss how we are going to construct the basic block for the uh, given set of statement in block we have entry and exit point also there is no any conditional and unconditional jump which is available in the block so uh, also we discuss the algorithm now loops in flow graph so what is flow graph flow graph is nothing but how the statement how the block which is to be uh, transfer or what we can say that how the flow which is to be available in that basic block okay a graph representation of three address statement called a flow graph is useful for understanding code generation algorithm even if the graph is not explicitly constructed by a code generation algorithm nodes in the flow graph represent computation and the edges represent the flow of control now dominator it is the part of flow graph so what is this in a flow graph a node d dominates node n how if every path from initial node of the flow graph to n goes through the d okay it means that how how we say that d nomin uh, dominates the node and if every path from initial node which is to be a uh, flow from the uh, flow to a node n okay this will be denoted by a d dom n every initial node dominates all the remaining node in the flow graph and the entry of a loop dominates all the node in the loop okay similarly every node dominate itself so how the domination which is to be performed and how we are going to discuss we will uh, understood from the next diagram okay so this is the left left uh, this is diagram it shows flow graph so what we can say that from 1 to 2 and 1 to 3 there is a path that is flow available now 2 to 3 is there not 2 to 1 is there okay from 3 which is uh, the path which is to be forwarded from 3 to 4 then 4 to 3 okay this is loop available in it again 3 to 4 now next for, from 4 to 5 to 6 then 7 also there also there is a loop or unconditional jump from 7 to 4 next from 7 to 8 9 and 10 also we have 10 to 7 8 to 3 and 9 to 1 unconditional jump are there so this is nothing but your the flow graph flow graph means what as it name suggests it shows how the graph which is to be flow now here we will discuss domination dominators so one dominate all the remaining node that are 2 to 10 node 2 dominate itself 3 dominate 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 5 and 6 dominate itself now next 7 dominate 9 8 and 10 and here 9 and 10 node or vertex which are dominate to each other so what we are what we are trying to do we are trying to explain the concept of flow graph so here the vertex or node describe the computational or what we can say that it describes the uh, 
mathematical expression and uh, arc or path shows the flow from one node or one vertex to the another so these are the things which are related to the loops in the flow graph in next lecture we are going to discuss the algebraic expression okay thank you